whilst we're at it. You're finished, right? Let's pick you up. Wiz, what the hell are these troops doing? It's gonna be fun battling over there, except it's not going to be fun. Jake, upgrade your units. Mm. Chamber demi cannon, okay. I doubt it'll make too much of a difference. We'll give them one tick whilst they're in our homelands, gives our heavy the chance to repair as well. We'll be merging you up. Mahmoud Rahim, we believe in you. What is more, we will get our heir to fight here because, frankly, our heirs are disastrously bad. Our entire royal family have been terrible. Not one of them have exceeded uh, <laughs> mediocrity. Okay, this is bad. They've got quite a lot of troops here. 10, 20, 30 odd thousand. We'll be coming at them with 40. But could it possibly be enough? Could this possibly be the best route to take? 18th of April. 16th of April. May. I think it's possibly better to take this route. If the, uh, the land can hold out for long enough. I think we should eliminate the Portuguese whilst we are uh, next to them. Easy peasy. This way, also, we don't take much attrition. Somebody just said something quite exciting. Jake, I believe I just saw the super fast colony in uh, the colonist in Sina. Oh my! Oh, whoa, whoa! Where are you going? Oh, oh shoot, I should not zoom in. You're heading to Turbal. That's over in uh, Australia. Okay, let's zoom out, see if we can see you. Your name is Ali Abdi. It doesn't have the same ring as uh, Uncle Adolf. And you're not quite as fast as he ever was. Whoa, what, what the hell? <laughs> Just, no, I'm not going that way. What is going on? What is going on? So he goes here and, th and thinks, no, this isn't the fastest way to Australia. I'm taking this route through the unknown to get here. Hold on. Oh, they did away with province of Gooby Gooby. Okay, enough messing around. We've got a Castilian to destroy. Honestly, it was. I am uh, severely unhappy at this situation. <sighs> okay, Bromalia, forget the whole attach to me tactics. You can describe. You can come up with your own plan. I should cost me war score and lose uh, war ex uh, gain war exhaustion. Keep it going. Yeah, Gubby Gubby's gone, unfortunately. Colony Zeta 12. Okay, we're almost there. Our boats, don't be fooled by that one that's at 71. Our boats are not beat up. Oh jeez, there's a lot of enemies over in Brumalia. We're going to have to take them on one by one with our superior... Well, I'm sure something about us is superior. Poor Timurids. Bankrupt. 
Actually, plenty of colonists. Oh well. Plenty of colonists means let's get plenty of colonies. Unfortunately, we can't reinforce with anything, and whilst my heavies have been away, the enemy has had a chance to reinforce. This is a chance I can't allow them to keep. Oh, okay. Quite a few of them. Let's destroy them. You'll be arriving there on the 16th of May. We'll be there just in time to halt your advance. And with a bit of luck, we can sink you. No, we were not fast enough. Hopefully I don't lose any transports, because any transport I do lose is a man dead. No, none lost. But holy smokes, look at what we're going to have to deal with here. Alright. Time for my air to shine. Jake Bromalia is wrecking La Plata. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh, hold on, can I move? I can put it in Bromalia's name! This is excellent. I can give uh, Bromalia pretty much all of this. Which is what I would like. If I could give Bromalia pretty much your coastline, although it might. No, it would wreck you with rebels. You have enough problems with that. You have enough problems, period. We have. 13,000 cannons on the back line. They're going to have 4, 5, 6, 7, so unless they t out tech us. 17, 17, 7. No, we're at 16. 17 is cavalry shock and better cavalry, of which they have two. No, we got this. We even have the flank. Minus one for fighting in this. Four shock apiece. You should introduce a river crossing penalty. No, your maneuver is too good. This is bad. Pulled that one back. Snatching, uh, snatching success from the jaws of failure. And since you just got your tick, this should be a wipe for us. Well, to a degree, you may be able to run a bit further, but you can't. Well, you could outrun us if you go there. Scum. Oh, you're really gunning for it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I need are my men back. Jake, how do you have 2.1 tactics? We have a little bit of discipline helping us out there. Jeez, where are you going? A little bit worried about this, but... No, that's fine. Gives us ample opportunity to destroy the French before they arrive. Uh, okay, where in the world are you running to? And why are these troops doing nothing? Alright. Let's clean up this mess. And it is a mess. Jeez, there's, there's land that I want here. Right here. But I need to keep all my troops ready to deal with the threat. Okay, I have a different idea then. Let's get a couple of cogs and just deal with it separately. Uh, one, two, three, four brigs. And we'll make it a, a cannoneer job. Four cannons, four brigs. You, unfortunately, are taking a hint of attrition here. But I think it's really important that we destroy the enemy while we can. 
We should outnumber them enough. Oh, I see. If you're running there, that's going to be problematic for us. Let's get our troops out of here. Bromalian troops use passive resistance to your rule. Okay. Honestly, though, what are they doing? Let's protect this land. Our superior rolls are giving me less than superior uh, casualties against them, but I should still have this. They're probably going to run far, far uh, further away than we can really deal with. Chasing them down may be suicidal. But we'll do it anyway. Yeah, people are suggesting that I switch their uh, instructions, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. If I tell them to be aggressive, they don't move. If I tell them to make up their own minds, they don't move. I told them to attach to them previous, they didn't move. Just as well I did not send my uh, <laughs> my, reg my transports to their death there. Right, I'll meet you and kill you there in the gap. I will chase after you and kill you all I can as well, and why are you going there's a slight chance that we can do something about this. Evening, Jake. How have the shekels been? Uh, depleting, oddly enough. And my colonial nation has proven to me that they are completely incompetent. Well, what can you do? We'll get their men back at uh, a slow but sure rate. Yeah, at least you are wrecking them there. But if I can take out their ships, that'll be also great. Jake, give them more gold. Hey, I'd be happy to give them plenty of gold, but I'm already subsidizing them something like uh, 10 or so shekels. Let's just keep that enemy fleet brown bread. Although they've, they've built more transports. As long as they're not French transports or Castilian transports, I'm not too bothered. Like 10 Castilian transports are not the end of the world. Well, that tells me where your troops are. Please stay there. arrange to have someone come and destroy you soon enough. We'll try and help Bromalia take back his land so his war exhaustion isn't going down quite as badly. Jake, can you please explain the multiple idea groups exploit? Well, you better use it soon because it's been... Uh it's been patched in the beta. Yeah, you have to select to use the beta. But basically, you so you unlock your next national idea, and then you click it, and then you very quickly click another one whilst holding down return, and you'll get both of them. The way I do it is that I very quickly have a clicker going whilst I zip my mouse across these two whilst holding down return. I think another way you can do it is click one, and then very quickly click on another one when you mash return, and you'll get two of them. But it worked out fine for me because I got influence and quantity at uh, Admin Tech 10, I believe it was. Worked for me. And all the Goyams work for me. Now, there are a couple things that I want you to do. Only one of them involves going to St. Helena. The other one involves this one. So what do I do? What do I do? I think I'll send all of you to uh, St. Helena for now. Get it done as quickly as possible.
Again, somebody's asked me to turn down game music. Are they uh, simply pulling my leg? Because nobody else seems to mention that. If it's a transport, it's got to die. Jake, is it possible to unlock all the uh, idea groups at Admin Tech 3 by doing the exploit? Well, you'd have to get to Admin Tech 4 to unlock any of them. And the answer is I don't know. I haven't tried, and I probably won't be trying again because I don't like to use the same trick twice. That is my answer. Brazilian current, you'll be there 4th, 6th, 16th. Alright, I'll meet you there. If they're transports, I'd be glad to destroy you. Jake, would this be one of the rare occurrences where a patrol feature would have been handy? Uh, no, because you don't always uh, engage with the people that you encounter when you do that. When two ships are moving, there's a chance that they'll just uh, glide past each other. I don't know how it's calculated. It probably has something to do with maneuver. <sighs> Marriageable women. We'll have to burn the colony. God, it's the same one that we did burn. Oh well, free manpower. Jake, is this campaign going to finish anytime soon? It's not as interesting as it was in the beginning. It looks like a mindless conquest right now, says some white guy 3. Some white guy 3, you shut your mouth. I'm trying to learn this game. That's one guy we certainly want to unrest, minus 3. Shekels are draining, but I'm certainly glad I've uh, plugged a lot into it. We should be able to get France out of the war before too long, he says, looking at uh, minus 67 reasons why. Hmm. Getting France out may be a pain, then. I don't think we have much use for you, so away you go. Paying well over the odds for Navy and Army here. It's not so good. A good chunk of that down to reinforcement of cost of these provinces. But if we can get all this land back, we should be able to mount our forces up once again and destroy them. Not the forces, but the enemies. Jake, why are you not sieging Elena? The honest truth is I'd completely forgotten about it. Let's just hope it doesn't get uh, intercepted. At least these... Uh, gee, look at this. This is pathetic. I'm cancelling your subsidies since you clearly can't do anything with them. Two hostile sieges on me then. Okay, that makes sense. I should keep an eye on these fleets here. In fact, if I could destroy them right now, that would be a blessing for me. Not entirely convinced that this province will go down fast enough, so we'll leave you be. Jake, do you like the a changes they did to Africa? I love the changes in Art of War. Pretty much all of them. Okay, France have brought quite the army here. Let's try to take care of everything we find. See what I mean? These two ships just went right past each other, even though we're uh, passing by the same sea zones. I think you have to come to a stop in order to come close to guaranteeing an attack on an enemy navy. Even then, there's probably no guarantees. And he's finally started moving. Thank goodness. I think I'm going to cry with happiness. But the 
fact that he's engaging down here leaves me a little worried. I should really go down there and fight. French transports. Well, we'll just lose otherwise, so let's get out of there. Castilian transports as well. I wonder what they're playing at. to leave all my uh, boats away from home. Jake, I just joined the stream. What has happened so far? I am fighting. I should give them an objective. You're right. Let's make this your objective, Bromalia. Don't focus on the others. Focus on there so that I can keep my eyes on you. Or just go back and forth. Do nothing useful. That is another option. He's clever. And with that, we're almost done here. With these accursed sieges. ships moving around, but the fact that they still have so many transports somewhat bothers me. 14 from Castile at that. If I could send a fairly big expedition to the Canaries, I'd be able to keep my eyes on this area here. It's highly unlikely, highly unlikely that they could get around that. Oh, good old naval fun. Jake, what did you name your colonial nations? We've got Bromalia here in Brazil, and we have Disappointment Hill over in um, the most disappointing land, Australia. So what do we do now? We'd probably face less attrition if we just went in by boat. So I think that's what we shall do. He doesn't appear to be attached to me, does he? Well, he shouldn't be. We're set not to attach. So we'll get our troops over here, get our boat along with its escort, We'll send our troops down, hopefully with a minimum attrition. Of course they are going to face some attrition, because this land is not even forced up in the slightest. But at least we're uh, close enough to being as big as we should be. Let's get down there and show them what's what. Taking back all that land, I hope they're not about to march north on me. Okay, there we go, he did land some troops on me, it was a six stack. Fairly not bad. Uh, oh my, he's coming for me in Minabe. And he'll be there on the 5th of June. Oh, I'll have a present for him. That's a river crossing for you as well, so you should get wrecked. Heck yes, one more base tax for my colonial nation. Alright, 5th of June, 2, 3, 4. They can't make a change on the last day. I'd love to give you my uh, guy there, but we're going to need him over there. Oh, okay, I thought it was jungle, but only this place is. Nonetheless, a river crossing penalty for you, although we're off to a terrible start with the dice roll. Ah, we got this. We got this. No problem. Get it done in one shot. Here's another example. Our ships are in the same area, but we're not fighting for whatever reason. I do, however, want my piety right up there, even at the cost of Adna. Okay, quite a few people are saying the music is a little loud. So I'll try dropping it ever so slightly.
Hopefully that is to your satisfaction. If it's not, well, <laughs> you just crashed my game, Wool Shark. Thanks a lot. That's odd, though. Why would changing the uh, the game volume crash it? Well, betas are betas. Just waiting on it to sink. All right, well, that'll give me a little bit to uh, take a quick water break, so I shall be back shortly. Okay, the freedom tanks are refilled and uh, the game is functioning once again. Thank goodness for Iron Man autosaves. Jake isn't marching into uncolonized provinces faster than marching into enemy provinces from boats. Yes, it is, but I would rather take 1% attrition from being in a boat than whatever attrition that uncolonized province is going to give me, which is probably quite a lot. Jake, I'm pretty sure the AI glitched out because they had no transports and still attempted to do automatic transportation via boats. Since they had no boats, they still stood still and waited for boats. Well, that's one for Wiz. Wiz is the uh, AI. Well, he's now the project lead of EU4, so he's not just the guy that makes the AI, although he makes the AI. At least this gives me a time to double check what was happening here. Hopefully we can destroy you. Always open. Yeah, because the supply limit there is 25 and we're considerably bigger than that. We'll take... Uh... Actually, now that I think about it, we'd be taking that getting here anyway. Well, we're already in motion. Neb shackles, man. Every day. I think the uh, enemy move, the enemy fleet moved over here. I would love to destroy that enemy fleet. 